He was everything he was dreamt to be. He, he actually turned out to be. And that is, of course, very rare. Inside the final furlong, see the stars on the near side for Mick Canan from Delegator and see the stars. I am John Ox. I'm the, a racehorse trainer who trained See the Stars. Well, he was a terrific specimen. He was a physically beautiful horse and very, quite big and very strong. But above all, he had a lovely temperament. He was very amenable. Uh, he just had that tremendous athleticism and energy. He was just the perfect horse to deal with. See the stars in the yellow jacket nearest to us, Mick Canan looking for his fourth guineas. I know Michael Canan, his jockey, was pretty confident that he had the ability and the speed and that he was a real contender. They're lined up and away they go and leaving the stalls. See the stars not all that well away on the near side. He had had a temperature, which that was a bit of a worry. So it made his task a lot more difficult. He overcame that, which was the first sign of a, a great horse. He had the physical constitution to overcome that and get himself there to new market in good shape uh, to win. As they head down inside the last two and a half furlongs, an open looking race, evasive, just spearheads them. See the stars now charging on the right. And I knew if uh, he was going well, coming down the hill into the dip with a chance and travelling well at that point, he'd be very hard to beat. Well, they race towards the final furlong, Delegator and see the stars. Evasive is third, then Ganaras, Rip Van Winkle stays on. Well inside the final furlong. He knew he'd quicken up the hill and finish well, and of course, that's what he did. See the stars on the near side for Mick Canan from Delegator, and see the stars wins a fourth guineas for Mick Canan. John Ox trains, see the stars, a uh, half brother to the great Galileo, most beautifully bred colt. Running up to the winning post in a race as important as that, it's a, it's a big thing for everyone, you know, because they're they're rare. Uh, they're most most trainers, owners, jockeys don't don't win those races very often, but always strive to do so. We knew we were looking at a special moment, not just to win the 2,000 guineas, but uh, it was uh, promising a lot for the future. These are the races that are carved in stone, so uh, you can't just dream those dreams because they don't happen. But it did happen in his case and uh, it was perfection in every way.